Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Okay, so off screen I went back and saved so I could actually do a, you know, a real load instead of just loading a save state. And while I was walking, uh, Kumatora got feverish and learned Fire Omega, which is awesome. So, there you go. Alright, so now there's an elevator here that goes up. Let's ride it up this time and head into the Empire Porky building. Oh, who are you, buddy? Hey now, you're sort of in the way. This elevator broke, so I rushed to fix it. For some reason, it wouldn't stop at the concert hall on the 24th floor anymore. But it works fine now. Wait a minute, you weren't thinking of going to the 100th floor, were you? Uh, yeah. Then I apologize. The repairs I made just now allow the elevator to stop at the 24th floor concert hall only. Oh, well, that, <laughs> that seems kind of ineffective. So please, just take it to the 24th floor. Please! Really, I think that would be for the best. Well, uh, alright, I guess we don't really have much of a choice, do we? Alright, so now we are riding the elevator up, and this is pretty weird elevator music, but, I don't know, I, I guess it works. <laughs> oh. Wait, what are you doing, buddy? You're shifting over to Kumatora. Oh wait, no, you're shifting over to Duster, dude, what the heck? <laughs> what? Aren't you... Aren't you Lucky, the bass player for the DCMC? Oh, that's why. Sweet! Lucky's back! That incredible bass line is finally back! Let's go, Mr. Lucky, let's go! Yeah, so we'd already heard that the DCMC was going to be here, and this is the concert hall, so I guess that's where they'd be, right? Hurry, hurry! We will, but first, let's talk to people. The DCMC have been incredible since their titty boo days. Yeah, well, they're always incredible. What in the world am I doing here? I'm sorry for bothering you. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wonder what you're doing here, too. But oh, well. oh, yeah, and these two. I love these two. The man next to me I'm holding hands with, he's still with me after all this time. I guess there's no question that he likes me, huh? If he were to suddenly kiss me... Oh, I'm so nervous! <laughs> yeah, of course he says the same thing. You gotta, you gotta love those two. It's awesome that they've kind of been throughout the whole game here. People are starting to say that THE basis has come back. Or not. Or something, I think. But if it's true, then this is gonna be the greatest night ever. Pretty much. I don't know why, but you guys really get on my nerves. I have this intense desire to arrest you for some reason. I'll ignore it, though. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, it's this guy up here. I love the boss's sense of, yeah, I'm great and strong and manly, but the DCMC is my life. Being put in charge of the concert security means we get to enjoy the show, too. Pretty much. Alright, what about you, man? How do I- oh, I can start with you from back here. Something smells dog-like and kid-like. Oh, it's you guys. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do nothing, though. Let's just enjoy the concert together as fellow DCMC fans. Alright, that sounds good. Yeah, so we're not gonna have to fight him again. Alright, and as we come back here, we see a familiar face from the DCMC. It's OJ! Lucky! Long time no see, you bum! Hey, and there they all come. Long time no see, we've been having some pretty okay concerts on our own since you left. With you here, it's gonna be like, wow! Lucky, I miss you so much, how have you been? Lucky, it's good to see you again. Definitely. All living things on these islands have been gathered here in New Pork City. A great undefiable power has prepared a festival for the end of all life. Wow, these guys know what's up, huh? We can see through this porky guy's shallow brain plants like they're nothing. Why is that, you ask? Because we're so drunk on our music that he can't fool us with his nonsensical crap. Yeah, music, I'm sure that's what it is. I don't know who this porky guy is, but with all five DCMC members back together, nothing can scare us now. Well, if I think about it really hard, maybe I can think of something that can scare us, but no, nothing can scare us now. Sounds good. Hey, Lucky, let's forget our worries and just enjoy the music like the old days. Ah, and there's the wig. Nice. We even have your afro wig all ready to go. Alright, and now we get to kind of walk around this duster. We can talk to people if we want. All the members of the DCMC say the same thing. Boney kind of follows us around, which is kind of funny. This brings back memories of Club Titty Boo. <laughs> That's what they had me do all the time, as I recall. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely lost my knack for that. <laughs> He's smiling nostalgically, I guess because Lucas doesn't say anything. Hey, Boney. How's it going, buddy? Alright, so let's walk up to the wig, and Afro wig, put it on, of course. And there we go, Lucky is back. Nice. So, pretty awesomely here, we're going to be treated to yet another DCMC concert, which is great. Uh, it's kind of warming up right now. Pretty much everyone's here, I mean, you can see Bronson and... Dr. Ando Nuts, and of course Tessie, and I can see Butch over there, and the item guy, and all the people we've seen before. Alright, man, this is pretty awesome. I'm getting ready for this. I'm pumped. Let's do it. I love the DCMC, man. Oh, 
All right, everyone, this may be the last time you'll ever get to hear us play. And this might also be the last time we ever get to perform. To all you wonderful music lovers who've gathered here on this special day, you're our greatest happiness of all. Tondagasa, we're gonna rock until you drop. No, we're gonna rock until everyone drops. We're gonna do this thing nonstop. Let's do it. Tondagasa! Thanks everyone, let's move right on to the next song. No break! Seriously? Looks like someone stopped our concert by force. And here's Porky over the intercom. Attention all goody two-shoes inside the Empire Porky building. The final game has begun. Please gather up what puny wisdom and pathetic courage you have and come to the 100th floor. However, there's no guarantee the elevator will work how you want it to. <laughs> well, I'll be waiting for you on the 100th floor. Oh man, does anybody else agree that the DCMC needs to come out with like a studio album? I mean seriously, I would buy that, I totally would. The concert got stopped, but we ain't glum. We got luck on our side. We've always had dumb luck on our side. Tondagasa. You think the concert might not have been stopped if had we played Porky's Lullaby song or something instead? <laughs> Maybe. Lucas wasn't. We leave Lucky in your hands. Oh wait, I mean Duster, I forgot he's not Lucky. <laughs> Yep, so even though they got stopped by force on their final performance, these guys are <laughs> still cheery as ever. You're the only basis the DCMC can ever have. Without you, we're without a base. Alright, man, that's unfortunate that concert got stopped, though. I would have sat here for, like, ten more songs had they done it. I seriously would have. I love that band. Hey, hey, hey! How's it, how's it going, buddy? What a lame attempt at a blackout this is. Can you see my nose hair? Uh, nope. No? Then it must be pretty dark in here. What, is it sticking out or something? So I have to say yes. I've been worrying about it. Is that weird? Is it funny? Is it fine? Uh, well, that's all right. I guess you got a mask on, so... Clear out! Get out of my way! Clear out! Get out of my way! All these kids and dogs and such. Quit loitering around, all of you! Oh, this guy means business. Supposedly some guy snuck into this building to take on Master Porky. I wonder who it was. It'd be funny if it was you guys, huh? <laughs> yeah, that is pretty funny, actually. All right, so now we need to be taking the elevator to the 100th floor to uh, meet Porky. As you can see, all the uh, lights are out in here now. The chain of command is so screwed up. What the pig master is supposed to be doing, what we're supposed to be doing. It's such a big mess. It's just thing that don't work out. Doesn't seem that way from your point of view, too? Kind of. Guess there's no chance of them starting the concert over, huh? Yeah, unfortunately not. Maybe the boss is in a prickly mood because of the horns on his head. The boss is in a real prickly mood. What do you got to say, buddy? It's all because of those lousy intruders that the DCMC concert got stopped. We DCM fans, DCMC fans ought to catch them ourselves and make them pay. Grrr. Oh, well, no thanks. I think I'll get out of here. Oh, yeah, and I love these guys. If we talk to them again, let's talk to the guy this time. 
The woman next to me I'm holding hands with. While I was flailing around during the concert, during the blackout, I think our lips touched. I wonder if it was on purpose. D -d -d do you suppose she l -l -l likes me? Oh, my heart's beating so fast. <laughs> I love these guys. They're just adorable. Aw. Alright, so now, even with the power out, this elevator still works. Does it have a different power source? I suppose so. Okay, so now there's an elevator that goes up and we can take it to uh, get into the real main area of the Empire Porky building. Love the DCMC, but unfortunately they're behind us now. We have to go, you know, take care of the whole saving the world business. You know, that little thing, but... <laughs> Next stop, 100th floor. Oh, well, that was easy. Wow, this is very strange looking. It's, it's outdoorsy, but it's inside. Whoa, holy crap, look down there. See, do we need a heal? Yeah, we kind of do. All right, let's go ahead and take this. All right, awesome. So what do you got to say, buddy? This is the wonderful hippo pool. Here you can swim with hippo launchers, gaze at hippo launchers, and observe hippo launchers eating. You can even fight them. That's dangerous, though. Yeah, you can fight these guys. This is kind of an interesting place. You can pretty much avoid all battles if you want. I mean, even if you run into these guys, like, you know, I'm running straight into them. They don't fight. Um, they'll only fight you if you actually inspect them. And we're kind of forced to battle one in a little bit anyway, so I'm just going to kind of, you know, skip all these guys for now. Just kind of pick up what's around here, I guess. Got a super bomb. It's kind of weird to have a present in the water. You think, uh, <laughs> you wouldn't think it'd keep the water out very well, but uh, I suppose it does. Yeah, it takes forever to get out, too. I wish they didn't have to do it one at a time. I want to do research so bad. I want to research more and more and more. If only I had research funding, I could improve the hippo launchers even more and more. Would you like to know how I'd improve them? I'm oh, sure. Let's hear it. I make it so hippo launchers can brush their teeth on their own, go to the bathroom at night before bed, and fetch the newspaper. You know, those kinds of improvements. Well, that, that might be worth investing in. I think we should do it. I would get a hippo launcher. Wouldn't you get a hippo launcher? I mean, look at these guys. They're, they're awesome. Especially if it would, like, fetch the paper for you and everything. Is there something over here? No. Okay, I guess not. Alright, so let's get out here. And this is where we're going to have a, uh, a forced battle here uh, with this guy. It appears that you guys appear to be suspicious guys. Uh, I'll beat you up good. Go, go, get him, my hippo launcher. Yep, so he sends his hippo after us. Now we get to fight him. So uh, there's the hippo launcher. As you can see, he fires, like, missiles out of his mouth, which is pretty incredible. Let's just go ahead and go for it here. That's hard to do with Kumatora. Ah, alright. So as you can see, I mean, this guy's got quite a bit of health, but the damage it does really isn't that big of a deal, uh, in all honesty, so... Uh, there we are, we already took it out, so... Yeah, they're not that hard, really, but... I don't know, they're kind of a cool enemy. I like the hippo launchers. Ah, my hippo launcher! Curse you, you pay for this! Uh, no I won't. Stupid heads! Aw, that's not very nice. So we can also go down here, there's another uh, present to pick up, which has some ultimate shoes. Alright, let's actually check that out, uh, because Duster, oh wow, Duster got them too, I don't know if that works then. Uh, Alright, because Duster's had the mystical shoes on for so long now, I mean, <laughs> it's been forever. And as you can see, the ultimate shoes, uh, at this point, I'm actually going to replace them. Because, um, I mean, the, the stat decreases aren't really that big of a deal. I mean, the speed kind of sucks. I wish we could keep the speed up. But, like, the 15 HP isn't really that big of a deal for a 42, like, boost in offense. So, I think we're going to go with the ultimate shoes. And we're going to be picking up some pretty good weapons for uh, almost everybody here. So, uh, we'll probably be replacing some of the mystical stuff we have, but I'm sure others will probably hang on to. I don't know. We'll just have to see as we come to it. Anyway, we are about to run out of time, so uh, in the next part, we're going to go on through this door, and maybe we'll find more hippo launchers. Who knows? But <laughs> until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.